One of the criticisms I've seen of TickTick is that it contains feature bloat, or it has too many features, too many options, it becomes too complex, too complicated to use. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up TickTick in a more minimalist fashion, especially for new users. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so if I'm pretending that I'm just getting started with TickTick and I've just opened the web app and here's what I see. And at first glance, it could be a little bit overwhelming. Uh, over on the left side, far left side, I've got all kinds of options. Um, I've got a little picture up here in the uh, very top left with a little bit of a crown on it. I'm not sure what that's about, but also I've got tasks, which looks like that's what I'm looking at here. I've also got calendar, Eisenhower matrix, no idea what that is. Habits, search. Uh, down a little further, I've got focus shift, notifications. I mean, I basically want to get this app so that I can track my tasks. I don't know what any of this stuff means. I've got a lot of different options here on the next panel. I've got an all, inbox, today, tomorrow, next seven days. I mean, some of that's kind of self-explanatory. I could understand that, but I don't think I need all of that. Um, you know, I basically just want a simple list. I want a list where I can track my tasks that I need to do. Down a little further, I've got sections for lists, which I can kind of understand what that might be. Tags, I'm not quite sure of, and, and filters, I don't know. And here's completed, uh, trash, summary. I don't know what, 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 why would I need to see a summary? So some of this might not make too much sense to me and it feels very cluttered. And so I've been thinking about how can I use TickTick in a more minimalist fashion? And it turns out you can do that. So if you go up to your profile and click on settings, the first thing that you might want to do if you want to set up TickTick in a minimalist fashion is shut off some of these features. So if you're not going to use Eisenhower matrix, you're not going to use the Pomo timer, you're not going to use habits, shut all those off. The next thing that you want to do is go to the smart list and shut off the smart list that you're not going to use also. In fact, you might start by shutting them all off and then just turning them on when you uh, find it necessary. So I'm going to hide all, I'm going to hide today, I'm going to hide tomorrow. And also note that you can select show if not empty. So the, in that option, next seven days, if you had a task scheduled for the next seven days, this list would show. If you didn't have a task scheduled for the next seven days, this list would not show. So that might be a good option also. But for now, I'm just going to hide them all. I'm going to hide assigned to me. I mean, if this is my task list, why would anything be assigned to me? It should all be assigned to me, in my opinion. Uh, won't do. I'm not sure what that's about. Hide that. Trash hide. I don't care about things that I've deleted. Summary. I'm not sure. Uh, tags. I'm going to hide. Filters. Hide. So I've hidden them all. And now I'm gonna click the done button. It's gonna reset. So now when I look at my TickTick web app, um, I still see a couple things that are, are kind of silly to me. So up here in the uh, top left, I see a 2021 memory. I'm gonna hit the X on that. So it seems a lot cleaner at this point, right? So down the left side, I have tasks, which is what I'm looking at here currently. And I also have calendar and search. Now the calendar is a bit annoying because if you click on that, and I'm a free user because I just signed up, all I get is this upgrade now option. So I don't like that I can't remove calendar. I guess that's TickTick's way of advertising their premium option. Maybe they think that the calendar is the best option when you move to premium, so they want to keep that visible to all users. Not sure. But I wish you could really remove the calendar because I'm not going to use the calendar, but in any case, you can remove most of the other features besides calendar, and you're just left with a more minimalist view. Now here, I don't see any of the other smart lists. All I have is inbox and an option to create lists. And that's the way I want it set up. I don't want to use tags. I don't want to use filters if I'm a new user. I basically just want a simple list that I'm able to track my tasks on. And I can set due dates and I can set priorities. I can add descriptions, comments, and all that stuff. Now, as I get into TickTick and 
I start using it a little more, maybe I want to go back and turn on some of those features again. Maybe I want to go turn on the completed tasks so that I can view tasks that were already completed. Or maybe I want to go turn on the habits functionality because, well, now that I've used TickTick -tick for tasks, I think maybe it'll be a good idea to uh, see what the habits functionality has in it. And maybe I could track some of my habits in there as well. And that's easy to do with TickTick, -tick, to turn these functionalities off and on. But I think for most users, especially users who are just starting out, they could really benefit from going with a more minimalist approach to TickTick. -tick. Well, that wraps up this video. I've shown you how you can turn off and on some of the features of TickTick. -tick. So that way, only the features that you use are visible. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.